speaking about, you know, sitting back and relaxing and thinking that your clients are going to find you in whatever career you're in is just not going to happen. And what you really need to be doing is be a researcher and utilize LinkedIn because all of the data that you're looking for, all of the clients that you're looking for, and that information is on there. And it really just takes a little bit of intuition and search and knowledge of your marketplace to just open up all of these people that you're trying to reach out to. So, um, for instance, I always think that search is actually the most impactful part of LinkedIn. Um, cause obviously, you know, you know, you need to have your profile filled out for various reasons, but until you actually do the work, you're not going to really see the results on the actual platform. So for those who aren't familiar with the search, it's, I'm actually going to share my screen just to show everyone where that is. Um, search is just right up here. And I was actually searching for something before. It's just right up here. So if I click on, I'm going to actually go to my home screen so you see what a traditional search looks like. So let's say I want to search for a real estate um, company. I'm doing a search and that company comes up. But let's say I don't necessarily want Douglas Elliman and I want a real estate expert. And this person who's turned himself real estate expert has popped up. He's my third degree of search. Um, I don't really look at it. Okay. Real estate developer. And that's really interesting. I'm looking at that and, you know, you've typed in, you know, real estate expert and someone's changed their name on LinkedIn to real estate expert. I mean, it's, it's exactly. a, a dodgy thing maybe to be doing and it's not really being uh, following LinkedIn's terms and conditions in terms of like, you know, trying to be, your, well, to be yourself, be a real person and, and show you who you are. But that just shows you the power of, of search and using the right keywords, not only, in, uh, you know, uh, in, your, in your name, but in the, in the title uh, and in, in your summary as well. So that was really cool to see. Yeah, I think you have to make sure that what you're putting on your profile is able to be findable by the people that, you know, might be searching for those terms. So for instance, so I'm typing in now real estate developer because I understand there might be people in the real estate world um, on this webinar. And things that immediately pop up are people with real estate developer in their titles, jobs, that are real estate developer related groups, companies. Um, you know, if you could scroll down, you know, there's so much of what you might be looking for just within, you know, searching for a typical job title. So let's see, we, we wanna just look for people with that within their titles on a classic search. I get 8,188 results that are being pulled from my network. And I don't have any first degree relations, but I do have these second degree. So people within my network who are attached to them and I can connect with by virtue of that. But let's just, say, just, uh, sorry, stop you there. Like uh, you okay. mentioned there, you don't have any in your first uh, connections. Um, and just looking at your results, normally the first connections will, will come up first. That's why you're, you're saying that. Right, cool. exactly. And then it'll be second and third tier connections. I could even dig deeper and say, you know what? I only want to talk to people who are current. Um, real estate developers or uh, current and who work for Corcoran. Um, and do a search on that. And that are located in the US near me in New York. 